Hi, this is your host Sapne Bhartia and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again, Miska Kaipinian, Senior Director of Engineering at Mirantis. Miska, it's great to have you back on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. KubeCon is here, so tell me about what is new in Lens 4.0. Oh, Lens 4.0, it's the biggest release of Lens uh, so far. Uh, the biggest new feature of uh, Lens 4.0 is going to be the extensions and the extensions API. And uh, in addition to that, we will have a hugely improved uh, logging interface for people who want to explore their Kubernetes logs more efficiently. Uh, so those are the kind of highlights of 4.0. Can you talk about what is the importance of the extension API? Uh, before, uh, Lens has been great while the users are working with the uh, Kubernetes primitives. So if they want to inspect ports or deployments and anything like that. So it's probably the best tool in the market for, for anybody who works with the Kubernetes clusters on a daily basis. So now, as we can see that there is this huge ecosystem of software and technologies built around Kubernetes. So with these extensions and extensions API, actually we want to reach out to all these different technologies that are around of Kubernetes. So we are not only able to show you exactly what's happening in your Kubernetes primitives, but also going beyond that and show you actually, uh, you can observe and you can interact and you can manage all these applications and technologies that are integrated uh, with your clusters. Extensions also mean that there has to be a very rich ecosystem around it. So can you talk about the partners who have released extensions? Yes, yeah, so at the moment we are currently working with, uh, with a quite number of uh, cloud native technology ecosystem uh, partners and uh, vendors. Uh, they are some of the biggest names in the cloud native ecosystem and uh, together now we are kind of fine tuning the API before the 4.0 release. Uh, so once the 4.0 hits uh, the GA, so we have a list of uh, partners uh, who we can go out with uh, kind of with the common message. And uh, so partners, they are currently working. Uh, many of them are doing their first, of course, extensions, and they are learning how to write extensions to Lens. Uh, I can name, for example, we are progressing very well with the Aqua security. Uh, they are working with their extension to add a starboard integration into Lens. And with the starboard integration, the users can start seeing the security vulnerabilities uh, that affect their ports and uh, deployments uh, directly from Lens. So they don't need to go away from Lens. They will see all this uh, information just right there where they are spending most of them, their time anyways. Miska, uh, can you also kind of you know, share what does the roadmap of Lens look like? I mean, uh, whatever you can share at this point. Well, we are fully transparent. Uh, Lens is an open source project and all the plans and ideas, they are, they are you know, fully visible there on, on GitHub. And uh, we are discussing about these plans also on our community Slack channel. So anybody who wants to join and start influencing the roadmap, so we are, of course, welcoming uh, people to join. Uh, what's coming next? So in the next version, after the 4.0, uh, we are looking to, of course, enhance even the extensions API, but we are also looking at adding functionality, how users can easily create uh, local development clusters and maybe even to spin up the clusters if they want on a public cloud. So that's one of the features that uh, we are currently looking for. Awesome. Uh, Ms. Scott, thank you so much for taking time out from your schedule and talk about uh, Lens 4.0. And I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.